and I'm sorry that I'm not wearing gloves today uh, because I misplaced my gloves somewhere. So let's talk about the power of the bike. The power of the bike is 20.5 bhp and uh, it's got 18 newton meters of torque. This today what I'm riding is the base variant of the Apache RTR 200 V and uh, this is approximately 1,15,000 rupees on road Kolkata and then and the top model here costs approximately nine to ten thousand rupees uh, more than this version. Since this is very aggressively priced, uh, I thought that it would be best that uh, I laid my hands on the base variant, which can be compared uh, to the FZ25. So next I want to talk about is the engine refinement. Well, um, TVS has given this bike a four valve engine. So four valve bikes are usually one of the smoothest bikes you can get. But uh, this bike actually uh, does not perform in that manner. This bike is really punchy. This bike is exactly on the lines of the old Apache RTR 180 but the thing is that when you actually ride this bike you would feel that yeah you know the bike is smooth and everything but once you pass 70 or 80 kilometers an hour you will realize that uh, there are better bikes out there which are smoother but that's not the USP of the bike the USP of the bike is the looks and the way it sounds they've tried to make this bike attractive enough uh, for the younger youth who like uh, the bike uh, because of the sound or because uh, of the acceleration or because of the uh, looks that's what they've actually uh, focused this bike on well in that regards this bike you know fulfills all its needs but if they have uh, focused this bike on people who are performance oriented they have completely the wrong idea of uh, market they are targeting yes these bikes run amazing uh, on the MMSC tracks back in the south and people in the south swear by the RTR series big fan following there I am completely okay with that the power delivery of this bike is uh, adequate but uh, nothing that you will actually be amazed about So that was the power delivery of the bike. I think that will answer your question, how you will enjoy uh, your city rides. Is the bike smooth enough for the city? It is absolutely smooth enough for the city. 
so how does this manage in uh, city traffic it does pretty well and it handles perfectly and i'm doing my last bit of city commute because i need to test the fuel efficiency of the bike now the fuel efficiency on this bike is 40 km to a liter in the city if you ride it under 65 km an hour as soon as you hit the highway and your speeds start coming up close to say 100 110 you end up uh, losing a lot of fuel efficiency and that will give you close to 34 33 well the acceleration of the bike is uh, nothing you'll be scared about uh, let me tell you uh, there are better bikes than this uh, that give better acceleration better top speed than this this bike uh, gave me a top speed of 130 km an hour yes so there was not enough road uh, and uh, i did not plan to do a top speed run on this but uh, take my word for it uh, any lighter rider will not cross 135 136 on this it takes a lot of time for the top speed to kick in and by that time the road will actually finish the bike handles really nice and uh, it is perfect for city use on the highway as i was riding the bike was stable and everything now if you encounter a strong cross wind the bike will unsettle itself now let's talk about the sound of the bike the bike sounds absolutely beautiful when you're riding a nice grunty sound to it you'll never be disappointed by the sound now is this bike bang for the buck absolutely not yes uh, you are here for an honest review and i'm going to give you one this is not a performance bike and if people your friends tell you that this is a performance bike they are misguiding you so for example right now i am at 5000 rpm i am currently doing 72 km an hr and the bike is not smooth now if i go down i am at 4000 rpm i am approximately 57 now out here the bike is smooth so once you cross 4000 rpm all the way to 6000 rpm the bike has a very bad vibe to it fz25 which accelerates better and everything yes the switches and everything on this motorcycle are better no problems whatsoever i actually like the whole switch system here but if you think that you will find uh, anything uh, out of this world in this way you completely wrong next i want to talk about uh, is the meter now meter is actually the biggest pro on this bike feature wise okay it's got a beautiful meter i have not seen a better meter uh, on an indian bike that is lot of feature is got a gear position indicator is got a lap timer two trip meters uh, time uh, everything you everything you throw at it you have it no problems whatsoever on this but the main problem here lies is that if i want to see my trip how many kilometers i've done i cannot do that yes you cannot do that you have to stop the bike right to zero like this see this okay now if i have to press this see the lap timer all the options start coming in why has tvs made such a bike they did not even think about people who would want to tour on this motorcycle are they only targeting uh, the young guys who will never look at the trip meter or who will just ride in the city 
or people who will just take the bike to the track and they don't care about uh, these small things you can change the trip and everything on a scooter man. make no mistake about it the meter is very nice now let's talk about the braking of the bike the braking of the bike is like a mixed bag for you two reasons for that sometimes the brakes are spot on and sometimes the brakes are spongy probably uh, when they heat up uh, they do uh, behave in a very different manner now this bike has a very big uh, rear disc plate now what that does is unsettles the bike under hard braking the brakes it has on the rear will actually kill a person by kill i mean the person is going to have an accident if this is his first bike now the tires on this bike are tvs now i have used tvs tires before uh, i have used them back in the 2005 2006 uh, charisma r that used to come out i used to own one of them and i loved them i had them uh, on my previous uh, pulsar 220 that came stock and i loved them too but um, there's something wrong that they've done uh, with these tires on they have made the tires last longer but uh, they will not actually provide you any grip on the road yes there are better options and everything which you can actually uh, get but for this model and this uh, price the tires are not good i love the paint scheme on the bike that's the biggest usp of this bike the mirrors on this bike are really nice no problems whatsoever on these mirrors they are rather wide i can see everything behind me so how is the suspension of the bike there are two things to the suspension this time in this review one now the seat of the bike is really nice so what that does is compensate for the hard suspension this bike has this bike is made for people who will uh, take the curves aggressively this is an incomplete bike they need to work more towards making a bike which is an all rounder we don't want a top speed hitting bike only we don't want an only handling bike can this be your first motorcycle absolutely not the clutch is a little touchy it wants you to release uh, very quickly it wants you to tell the rider you know i am fast how can tvs focus on something so mediocre and make that as their flagship motorcycle they know how to make a motorcycle the fit and finish of this bike is amazing it is no less than a honda or a yamaha yes japanese bikes the paint the quality of the switches meter is the best thing i told you already about it it is actually very good the only thing this lacks is a good engine a good tire a good braking system and that what actually makes a motorcycle the bike cuts through traffic very nicely so you can see it turns through traffic you can maneuver the bike no problems whatsoever i am not promoting uh, rash riding or anything but uh, you have to understand the fact that people actually uh, commute like this and then a hurry or there's an emergency beautiful meter now this is the exhaust sound
Now just see my hand and see the RPMs. Now I'm going to show you how the meter actually works. See. Beautiful meter. This is the odo. This is trip 1. This is what I completed on the bike. This is trip 2. The highway mileage which I just did. This is a lap timer. This is a top speed achieved. Uh, top speed what happened was uh, I did not plan to do the top speed. So uh, I just happened to do it. So this is what I reached. A lighter rider will easily do 136, 135 on it. I could have done 134 on it, no problems whatsoever. Now second is, I really don't know what this is. Uh, beautifully laid out meter. The paint quality on this bike is amazing. Man. Just see the paint quality man. Yeah, I know it's dirty and everything but come on, the paint quality is just superb man. I really like the way it looks and everything. I could not uh, test the lights because uh, the owner had actually uh, changed to LEDs on this. So I could not do that. But uh, I hope you like the review. And uh, I did not have anything much to say uh, in this review because I really did not like the bike that much.